Hey y'all, we're back. We at it again. Let's get the hell off this stupid dragon infested mountain. This stupid, terrible, bad, awful mountain. I need to get to a merchant. I need to advance some personal quests. And I guess I need to heal the Arl of Redcliffe or whatever. But mostly the other thing. Woof. Welcome back. You were gone for quite some time. Well, did you find it? Uh, yeah, I found it. What... what was it like, coming to the urn, I mean? It was fine. I mean, there were tests. Tests? Interesting. Very interesting. Perhaps my research will not seem so much like blasphemy to the Chantry now. We must organize an expedition. There is so much history here, it must be studied. And, and pilgrims should be allowed to come to the Urn. That may not be wise. Many will try to exploit this discovery. But the Urn belongs to all the faithful. How can you deny this to them? No, we must share it. You have noble intentions, Brother Genitivi. But can you say the same of your brethren in the Chantry? So everyone comes by and takes some ashes from the Urn. Ooh, I hope that Urn is self-replenishing. And perhaps charge an entrance fee, no? I will spread this good news or die trying. If something bad comes of this, it's your fault. I must return home. I have much to do. If you ever find yourself in Denerim, please visit me. I am not a rich man, but I have a small collection of interesting artifacts, and I do owe you a reward for coming to my rescue. I hope to see you soon, my friend. Like, Ren would probably care more, but like... It's not fucking Andrastian. He just wants to go home. He saw Tamlin again. It was not easy for him. He just wants to take a nap. He wants to go to bed. All right, we've got some gifts to distribute, and we'll um, we'll do another round of chit chat. At least with those who have things left to chit and chat about. Alistair, now the golden demon pendant. I think that's for Morrigan. I'm not sure. Win. Oh, marvelous. Severin. You have excellent taste. I'll, I know the boots. I'll give them to him in a second. Uh, nothing for Finn Harrell. Shale. Very nice. Ogren. That looks fine indeed. Sten, nothing for Sten. Morrigan. Huh? A fine gift. Yeah. Right. You have my thanks. Uh, and now... All that's left to do is... This one. Mmm, that smell. This is Antiven leather, isn't it? I would know that anywhere. <laughs> I don't know how you found it, but thank you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try them on. But I'm not finished admiring them yet. Can you smell that? <sighs> like a rotting flesh. Just like back in Antiva City. Now, if only you could find me a prostitute or two, a bowl of fish chowder, and a corrupt politician, <laughs> I'd really feel like I was home. <laughs> and they fit as well. Marvelous. Ah, <laughs> oh, my boy. My excellent baby boy. 
Let me do a little bit of inventory maintenance. Are you sure I'll go I ahead can't interest you in this? this. Movie magic. Okay. I did some inventory maintenance. I leveled everyone up. I gave some people some new equipment. It was all very boring, but it was just stuff that you just got to do. Okay. Um, so Morgan, we've run out of shit to talk about with Morgan for now. Uh, same with Sten. Um, Liliana, I think, has a couple more interesting topics. Uh, Ogren, Wynn. Okay, well, let's start with Ogren, because I think we just, uh... Just leave me alone, Warden. Seriously. Why? Are you upset about something? Upset? Ugh. I don't get upset. I get drunk. Did you want to talk about something? I'd like to know more about you. What about? Do you miss Orzammar? What? Miss Orzammar? Are you mad in addition to being ugly? Wow. <laughs> they treated me like a puddle fly back there. I'm never going back. Okay, let's talk about something else. All right. Aye. All right, then. Well, good. Have you heard much about the Grey Wardens of old? Uh, I know they used to soar through the skies on griffins. Griffins. <laughs> Alas, that seems to be the only thing people remember from the tales. The mighty flying mounts that bore the Grey Wardens into battle. Well, I wish I had a griffin. Unfortunately, they've all passed back into the Maker's hand. <laughs> so that wish will have to go unfulfilled. <coughs> it was said that watching the Wardens ride in on their white griffins was enough to rouse a weary heart and put the dance back in the step of an old man. The Grey Wardens were powerful, feared and respected, but they also inspired the common people. I remember a tale that was told to me many years ago. Does the story have griffins in it? Maker's mercy, it's like talking to a child. So does it have griffins in it or not? Yes, there are griffins in this story. The blight had ravaged the land for months, and the armies of the great kings had amassed for one last stand. As the sun burst through the clouds that boiled and churned in the dark sky above, it illuminated a vast, seething horde of darkspawn, with the archdemon at its head. And it was then, when courage seemed to fail, and all lost to death and despair, that the Grey Wardens came. They arrived with the beating of wings like mighty war drums and stood before the armies of men. Griffins? Yes, griffins. Now listen to the rest of the story. The Grey Wardens, grim and fearless, marched forth, ever between the men and the encroaching darkspawn. They formed a shield of their own bodies and held that line until the archdemon was dead and the last darkspawn lay trampled in the dirt and then, demanding neither reward nor recognition for their sacrifice. The Grey Wardens departed. When the clouds finally rolled back and the sun shone full upon the blighted ground, the Great Kings knew that they had lost no men and none of their blood had been spilled. This story isn't about a specific battle, isn't it? You are observant. <coughs> this is a tale about no battle the Grey Wardens have fought. And yet, about them all. They have always defended us from the Darkspawn, taking losses so we do not have to. People may have forgotten over the centuries, but nothing has changed. This knowledge has been blessing and burden to Grey Warden's past. And now, it shall be your blessing and your burden. Mm. Makes for good foreshadowing, don't it? Do you remember our discussion? Yes, of course. I just wanted to tell you that I thought about what you told me, and you were right. Despite what Marjolaine says, I am not like her. I know that now. I have found peace in knowing the Maker, and nothing will change that. I followed you to make the world a better place, and as long as I keep that in mind, I will not fall. Sometimes, it takes another to show us the truths we hide from ourselves. It was my pleasure. I'm glad I left Lothering in your company. You have proven a true friend and I thank the Maker for you. Aw, what a sweetie pie. 
It's a big old sweetie. And now, the moment I'm sure we've all been waiting for. Look at you. Your weary stance. The dark circles under your eyes. Poor man. All this constant walking has gotten to you. Do you know what you need? A horse? A little late for that, I should think. My thought is this. We retire to your tent and I show you the sort of massage skills that one only learns growing up in an Antivan whorehouse. Are, are you suggesting what I think you are? If you mean to ask whether or not there might be more than a massage involved, allow me simply to say that you won't be disappointed with any of the techniques I've picked up over the years. I... are you sure about this? <laughs> what is there to fear, my Grey Warden? You deserve a little fun, do you not? If you're not of a mind, however, it is no tragedy. Oh, oh no, no, I'm definitely of a mind. Then why are we still talking? Are you guys ready for the fucking dumbest cutscene on the face of the planet? <laughs> I'll try not to laugh, but it always gets me. <laughs> the music is what kills me. It's so intense. Oh, who blocked this? Who made this? What's going on in this this one? Don't worry about it. Oh man, what a night! <laughs> See, I knew this would happen eventually. I should have warned you right from the moment you refused to kill me. It was inevitable. You're practically a public menace. It's true. They used to issue warnings about me at the Antivan border. Ah, the good old days. So then, as the priestess so famously said to the handsome actor, what now? I was just about to ask you the same thing. Allow me to make it simple for you, my Grey Warden. What comes next is entirely up to you. I was raised to take my pleasures where they could be found, for they do not come very often. I shall ask nothing more of you than you are willing to give. So, easy come, easy go? One might look at it that way. Is this so terrible? At any rate, we should be on our way. A new day awaits us. Or so the rumor goes. Oh man. Ren really did not know how to take that. Because he's a again, he's a dumbass, guys. Like, if you're wondering, like, if you were trying to explain any decision of why Ren did a thing this way, it's because he's an idiot. Fundamentally. Ask away. I had another dream about the Archdemon. Yes, me too. And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think? I think we need to be extra careful. I thought we were already being extra careful. Does that mean we have to be extra, extra careful now? Great. And there I was, enjoying my nap. I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is a blight. Yay! Hooray! Oh, I don't know if there's anything left for Shiel to talk about. I think so. It has occurred to me that I have been... Excuse me. This is not easy. It's occurs to me that I have been less than charitable with it since it reanimated me. Uh, you have good reasons, I think. I have come to realize that it has been good to me. You have been good to me, even though you had no control rod to enforce obedience. I have never had one before, so I, I don't know how to thank you for being... You know. A soft, squishy flesh creature? That, too. I followed you, expecting to find answers to my questions. But I think I have found something better. So does this mean I get to be called you now? No. <laughs> it's a one-time thing. I don't want to raise its expectations to unrealistic levels, after all. Aww. Oh, let us not speak of this awkward bonding moment ever again. 
to the road. <laughs> Aww. Rin's just easy to get along with. He's just a good boy. He does his best. Alright. Enough of this gushy nonsense. We have an oral to save or something. Yes. 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 Let's go. Red Cliff Castle. Only a couple more, um, only a couple more personal quests to finish up. And then it's just the fucking lands mean, isn't it? We're almost done with the game, y'all. Damn. It's been a ride. It's been a whole ride. God damn it, this fucking guy again? Ugh. Stop following me, you freaking weirdo. You return. Might you have news? Uh, uh, I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be... Easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I need your help against the Blight. That will do. I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. Yeah, Ren still does not trust human ability. I'd prefer not. Then so be it. Know that you have my thanks, even so. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. But you can unite the nobility against Loghain, can't you? I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. 
Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. But once everyone learns what he's done... I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. You intend to put Alistair forward as king? Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. My blessing? Why do you need my blessing? None of this would be possible without you. You led Alistair here. You saved my life with the urn of sacred ashes. It's your lead I follow. I am a credible enough figure in this nation to call the landsmeet, but I hold no illusions that I could face Loghain without you. Surely you see that. Uh, wouldn't it be easier to simply kill Loghain? I'm not sure that would help our cause. We would become the criminals, and our accusations would become excuses. Furthermore, I'm not even certain where Loghain might be. Uh, seems we have little choice. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I've done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? He seems earnest in his desire to repent. Oh? That is... unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is... strained. Give him to the circle of Magi. True enough, and wisely said. Jowan, I hereby turn you over to the tower of the circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the landsmeet. We should head to Denerim as soon as possible. I can delay that, however, if you have other plans. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Let's go to Denerim. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates? while a blight claws at our land. The blight is why I'm here. 
With Kaelin dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen. And I lead her armies. Considering Ostagar, perhaps we need a better general. And who is this, Eamon? Some new stray you picked up on the road? And here I thought it was only royal bastards you play the nursemaid to, not wild elves. Well, you're admitting the royal part. That's a start. I am Wren of the Grey Wardens. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. I don't accept the sympathies of deserters and regicides. You should curb your tongue. This is my city and no safe place to speak treason for anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, since Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. The Regent has been generous to those who prove loyal. Bootlicking appears to be profitable these days. Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight, with your selfish ambitions to the throne. You're the one who divided Ferelden. I was not talking to you. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland.